during the past few years, what we have seen in the enterprises that there is a lot increasing in the demand for the AI technologies. According to the IDC report, 85% of the enterprises are basically have AI initiatives. Now, the biggest challenge for them is the long term POCs. And with a lot of new startups, they don't know whether those solutions will be or might not be beneficial for their business challenges. So what Lenovo does together with our data scientists and our uh, solution architects, we bring in solution providers. Before that, we test, we verify on the Lenovo AI ready infrastructure. And when it comes to the market, that basically gives a complete nice solution according to the customer requirement. So what we see ourselves is as a trusted and an unbiased advisor for our enterprises. Well, that's quite interesting because what we see that HPC and AI has very much things in common, especially in the infrastructure, like the accelerators, the high speed interconnects, the high speed storage. What we see now as that traditional research institutes, they are using the AI techniques in their HPC workloads and using the inferences to gain the data. So what happens that the infrastructure has now become a shared environment for different workloads. And for that, Lenovo has developed a platform which we call it as Lico. What gives an environment for, for a customer to use that Lico that can be work in an open HPC stack or the traditional Kubernetes environments as well. That helps a new AI user to come and deploy their, devel their applications on the HPC environment. So if any customer who's looking for evaluating how they can use AI in their environment, the Lenovo has got four AI innovation centers for the customer support. Well, there are quite many few. So what I'll do, I'll give you three examples here. One of the universities in North Carolina, we worked with their research institute. They were working on the crop health. Using the AI technology together with Lenovo, we found out how a weather change can affect the health of a crop. And that was quite very interesting. Second, what we had, one of the major banks in the Middle East, they had a challenge of the number of transactions per day that they have. And due to a manual intervention on those transactions, the customer satisfaction was not up to the mark. So they used the Lenovo AI infrastructure in their robotics lab. And guess what? The number of transactions that happen every day, the time reduces and the customer satisfaction increases as well. Third example that I'll give you right now is, is a very important one, especially during this pandemic. The governments are a bit worried about the citizens, how to take care of their health. Lenovo together with our partner at four come up with an AI solution that helps to do a crowd monitoring. It, it encourages the citizens to wear masks. It encourages the citizens to have proper social distancing and checking the fever as well. So you can see that AI is not only a new technology, but basically what it does, it helps the humanity to solve its daily life problems. This is what AI is. I would like to thank TechX for today's interview and stay tuned to Tech TechX for all the latest updates in the market. Thank you very much.